ignorant. May I dispel some of the ignorance by reading a few passages that I found in this 39-page booklet, Beginning Apologetics, How to Answer Muslims, by Reverend Frank Cahoon and Jim Burnham, with a foreword by Mick Papa, S.J., of EPWN fame. It's published by San Juan Catholic Seminars in Farmington, New Mexico. It might be at the end of my presentation to turn this booklet in as a part of my official testimony. And now in the time remaining, let me read a few passages. Islam, this is their assessment of Islam. Islam is the final fulfillment of the religious line of prophecy that began with Abraham. Christianity is a corruption of this prophetic line. Islam has a sacred duty to stamp out Christianity and impose Islam throughout the world. Muhammad is the last and greatest of God's prophets. That's on page three. I want the passages I'd like you to read when you get a hold of this booklet. We turn now to page 12, regarding the women. Muslims and women. It is astonishing to read of European Christian women becoming Muslims. Christianity teaches that God created men and women equal, and that men must treat their wives with respect and love. However, the Quran teaches that God made men superior to women. Surah 4, colon, 34, past 35. Men have authority over women because God has made one superior to the other, and because they spend their wealth to maintain them. As for those from whom you fear disobedience, admonish them, forsake them in beds apart, and beat them. Muslims and coercion of consciences. The Catholic Church teaches that it is greatly sinful to use force or the threat of force to compel people in matters of religious belief. Although some individual Catholics in the past have used coercion to convert people and to keep them in the church, these people acted against official church teaching. Page 13. It is wrong for a public authority to compel its citizens by force or fear or for any other means to profess or repudiate any religion or to prevent anyone from joining or leaving a religious body, adding a clear declaration on religious liberty, section 6. On the other hand, it is well known that, the, that Islam has always officially approved and even commanded severe penalties, including death, for those people who abandon Islam or refuse to accept it. To whom do I turn this book with him? Hand it over to the parts of the board and thank you very much. Minister Bible is that anyone else who wants to quote from it, the passages I have uh, identified, is free to do so. Thank you, Mr. O'Dell. Julia Hoffman.